No nonsense gin drinking. All gin, no nonsense. Hello gin lovers, welcome back. Old Freeman here and today my friends take a look at this dastardly and scary dark looking fellow we have for you today. But this my friends is none other than Black Lodge Potions. Wild strawberry and black pepper gin. And the reason <coughs> I'm doing that rather throat raspingly and damaging voice uh, is because as you can see they have a rather sort of a sort of a horror sort of theme going on. Because many of you will remember the last one I did, which was stinging nettle and honey flavoured gin. It was the same sort of look and the same sort of guy, this sort of dark and scariness. And I thought those flavours were a bit out there, to be honest. Stinging nettle and honey, I thought it was going to be a bit of a novelty and not very nice. But it actually became me and my girlfriend's, particularly through the lockdown, our go-to gin. It was absolutely just divine. We really, really enjoyed it. So we, it wasn't just the novelty value. It was genuinely good gin as well. So I'm very excited to try, the, the, to try this strawberry and pepper version for you today. Now we would usually at this point have a look at what they say about it on the website, but they don't give you a great uh, amount of detail on the website to be honest. It's all just this continuation of this scary theme. I don't know if you can see on the back of uh, the bottle here, you've got this sort of scary looking beast up here. And his name apparently is Black Shuck, and it's based on a legend, a British or an English legend, of a ghostly black dog called Black Shuck that roams parts of the countryside, okay? So they've got a little sort of, uh, the only thing I've got there is a little poem about Black Shuck, so I thought we'd read that for you. An omen of the night, a giant hound does roam. His evil eye you see and you won't make it home. But maybe a wild strawberry and black pepper brew will hide you from Black Shuck protect you from his view. <laughs> right then, enough fanning around, let's get the old top off, shall we? It's got one of these peely peely things here. Now, does it have a cork? I'm trying to remember, I think it does. So, oh yes, we do. So we know what that means, my friends. It's the cork test. The cork test. So here we go, do we have a squeak? Ooh, a cheeky little squeak. Not too much, but quite nice. We don't get squeaks very often these days, so we like that very much. Go for the full pull. Oh, not too bad. A cheeky little pull. Not too much, not too little, just about right. So, let's get... Oh, 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 my God. Now, this is one of the ones that preempts the cork test. It cannot... The aromas cannot sit in that bottle. They literally slither out and straight up. If we could see them, you wouldn't... I'd be blocked out with aromas, because that is smelling amazing straight away. Now, get ready for the colour of this. Here we go. Yes! Would you take a look at that? Hang on a minute. I don't know if you can see it clearly on the video. If I hold the paper there. Have a look at that. Oh my word. Have you ever, my friends, ever in the life of gin drinking seen a gin that is that colour? We've had strawberry gins a lot and I must, I've said before, you know, I am very partial to a strawberry gin, but that little fellow is quite extraordinary. So let's have a bit of a sniff. Oh, okay. It's literally just overloaded with gorgeous, just concentrated strawberry flavours. Oh, man alive. And then, do we get pepper in there? Do we get pepper? Because it is strawberry and black pepper. You do a little bit, actually. You have to sniff a little bit harder, but there's definitely something in there. So then, let's go for the old tonic, shall we? I might try this one neat as well. Generally speaking, we know that the flavours are released um, sort of in a better way, and uh, they're very much more easy to discern with the tonic. But let's just, again, curiosity. We'll try this one neat later. So, my friends, here we go. Black Lodge Potions, Wild Strawberry Unt Pepper Gin. I say cheers. Oh, <laughs> it, it, it's, this is one of those gins that just delivers everything that the scent uh, promises because it's it tastes exactly how it smells. It's just, it's, it's, it's a thing. Oh God. The reason I stammered there is because, hmm, you have to think to yourself sometimes, uh, to be a gin, as we always say, it has to have juniper. And I'm sure there is juniper in there somewhere, nestled away in the corner. However, I haven't got a huge amount of it. But do you know what? Sometimes I just don't bloody well care because it's just something that's a bit fun. It's just 
absolutely all-encompassing strawberry. I mean, absolutely no mess about that is a strawberry, which is not surprising by the color of the gin. That is a very, very concentrated strawberry flavor. Now let's have another quick go to see if I can get anything else. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm not, but uh, there's not a great deal else in there. However, you do get that it does exactly what it promises. You do get a tiny kick of that pepper as well. My, now my dad told me once he was offered strawberries with pepper at a party. And apparently that's a thing. They serve strawberries with black pepper on it. It's supposed to be very, very nice. So I can see perhaps that's why they uh, thought of that pairing. Yeah. It's not going to be sort of a true classic gin, but do you know what? I'm enjoying it. I reckon you get that a bit of ice in there, maybe garnish it. I don't think you even need to garnish it with strawberries. There's so much flavor packed in there and it's just genuinely nice. If it was just, there are a lot of strawberry gins out there, don't forget. So I like that little tiny quirky twist to it. Uh, in the same way that uh, their previous gin that I reviewed, the uh, Stingy Nettle and Honey, was really, really unique. I think, I, I can't remember what else they've got. I'm sure they do other flavors as well, but it seems like these guys just take gin and have a bit of fun with it. They don't play by the rules. They say, yeah, we'll do what the hell we want and we'll just create something a little bit fun. And you know, ugh, I can't say there's anything wrong with that. So just out of interest, let's try it neat. Apologies for sipping from the bottle, but hang on a second. <laughs> Yeah, again, you know me, I'm not a big neat gin drinker. And personally, I think it releases that I certainly don't get those uh, as much a depth of flavor. And I can't really discern the pepper as much. So I reckon this is definitely one to have with a gin and tonic. Now it's worth mentioning, one of my subscribers pointed out that this bottle, last time I featured it on the show, is rather reminiscent of the bottle used in the TV show called Blackadder. It was popular here in the 1990s, in an episode where they went on a ship and they ran out of water and had to drink their own urine. Then they used bottles not dissimilar, in fact identical to this one here. Fortunately, I can report this tastes much, much better than urine, but well, to the best of my knowledge anyway. And to be honest, if my urine was that colour, I'd almost certainly take a trip to the doctor. So then, this one I believe is only available here in the British Isles, but if ever you're over here and looking to get one, and let's face it, why wouldn't you? I thoroughly recommend it. What's it going to cost you? Well, it'll be a little bit more expensive. It's going to be priced at £38, which is the equivalent of $50 or €42. Euros. But as I say, to, to sometimes to support the smaller, more interesting distilleries, it's worth paying a little bit more for. And let's face it, what can be more interesting and unique and worthy of paying a little bit more for than something like this, my friend? So if you've enjoyed watching this video, please, as always, don't forget to express that enjoyment by liking the video and subscribing to my show. And of course, if you want to support the show, then head over to my Patreon page as well, the link for which is in the section below. But until next time, guys, you know the drill. Take care, stay safe. Thank you to all my patrons and keep drinking the gin.